again and welcome back. I'm here today and I'm going to show you a really quick hack, a way to clean dirty leather quickly and easily. So sit back, make yourselves a cup of tea and hopefully enjoy. got an item of tackle leather that is filthy dirty like this can we see this look we've got grease grime dirt well embedded in I mean that has been on there a while I've deliberately let this get really dirty <laughs> I'm not a minger honest I've deliberately let this get really dirty so that I can show you how to clean off this really dirty greasy embedded bleh, disgusting leather and it's something really simple so let's see if we can get some of this look it doesn't even scratch off it's so disgusting let's see if we can get this off things that you will need a kettle of hot water it doesn't have to be a pink kettle a bowl and whatever sponge type thing you use to clean your tack with and if you've got it an old toothbrush it's not my toothbrush I use an electric toothbrush now because my dentist assured me they're the best things to use so this was bought specifically for tack cleaning so you get your bowl, you get your hot water. Now basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the heat from the water to help dissolve the grease, okay? So before we put any product on, you don't wanna put a product onto grease and dirt because you're just gonna rub it in. You want to strip the grease and the dirt off, hopefully without stripping the natural oil from the leather. So I use these sponges, they're the ones that we make, they're like magic planet friendly sponges. They are biodegradable, but they're also magic. So whilst they're magic, oh you look at this, you see? So whilst they do that, and that's super cool, um, and they're also super cool because they are friendly for the planet, sponge is also really good because it has a really good consistency. So you're gonna squeeze out the excess water, and then whilst it's still hot, you're gonna literally put it onto your oily stuff. And you start to remove this grime and dirt and oil using the heat from the water without using too much water itself because when you have too much water on your sponge it sort of saturates the leather and we don't want that we want to just try and get that surface layer of grease off so can we see we've already melted that surface layer of grease off so we're going to do it again and again, remembering to squeeze the sponge out because we don't want any extra water on it. And again, that's why sponges are good. So we're going to pop it on there, hold it on, let it sort of sink in, let it melt the heat of it and melt it away a little bit. And then rub it off. So now, when I look in here, I can see that this is now all clean. The grease has now all come off. It looks to look like that. Look, you see? And it's all come off from just two little soakings with heat and I can still see I've got some in there so what I'm going to do about that stuff in there is I'm going to get my sponge wet again and get my sponge hot again squeeze it out and sit it in those little creases where it's not come out get it in there and I'm going to get my old toothbrush and I'm going to just do that and then that just gets into these little creases and gets these bits off the edge. So now, look at that. Can we see? Completely gone. All the grease is gone. This is how it used to look. It used to be that it was worse than that. Really thick. Can't even scrape it with my nail. It's so greasy. And it's all completely gone. Just using heat, but not water. Now we don't want to do this all the time because heat is not good for leather. Super hot temperatures, super cold temperatures, fluctuations in temperatures are not good for your leather because they strip some of the oil out of it. But in a situation like that, it's actually better to use the heat just to lift it slightly rather than scraping and scrubbing because that also damages leather. The secret obviously is never to let it get this bad, but if it does, that's what you do. Now we don't want to leave it like this because we've stripped, we've put some heat on it, we've drawn some of the oils out, so we don't want to leave it like this. Also we want to give it a good clean. So after we've taken the worst of the grease off, we again dip our sponge into the now, I'm not going to lie, warm water, not hot water. 
but the hot is good. And you get your normal tack cleaner and get good quality saddle soap or leather soap and just get a little bit on your sponge. And then where you've done this, you just rub it in just to lift the very last little bits. Can you see in there? All, all nice and clean. Now the tack cleaner that I use is obviously our one, the one that we make, and um, I can put a link to it below. And the reason I use that is because A, it hasn't got anything horrible in it that my skin reacts to, but also B, it's got lots of natural oil in it. It's got almond oil and it's got lemon oil and it's also got peppermint oil in it. So that means that the soap itself, even before we start conditioning, the soap itself has got some conditioning elements to it, which would help just reintroduce that natural moisture back in. So do you remember what this looked like? This looked like that, yeah? And we couldn't even scrape it off. And now it looks like that. Lovely and clean. If you wanted to follow it with a bit of conditioner, you could also follow it with a bit of conditioner. I probably would, I normally do, because I like to think of things being conditioned and nice. But that was a really simple tack hack. It's a really simple way to get rid of that grease and grime. It literally is a case of getting your normal sponge, sponges are good, make sure it's a good quality sponge, dip it in some hot, ooh, hot, hot, hot water, squeeze it out, ah, ah, burn your little hands, burn your little hands, squeeze it out, squeeze it out so there's no water left, and then just sit it onto the leather. As you take it off, you notice it takes away a lot of the grease with it. Do that a couple of times if it's really bad like that, but remember the heat is bad for leather. So don't do it too often, and when you do do it, make sure you put something on afterwards to reintroduce a little bit of oil back in. This is the balm that I would use to put some oil back in, and you can literally just look like the moisturizer. Rub it in. Ooh. And that will hopefully protect it and put a bit of moisture back in, a bit of oil back in after you've stripped it out with that hot heat. And I'm gonna, I won't even say hot water because it's not hot water that you're putting on there. You, you're using the water to heat the sponge, but there's very, very little amount of actual water on the sponge left by the time you put it on there. So it's not the water that does it, it's the heat. And there we go, we've got a lovely moisturized, clean, grease-free bit of leather. If that video has helped you at all, then please make sure you press like or pop a comment down or something like that, because please remember all of that interaction is really important to me and I love hearing your comments and hearing how you found it. If you have any other comments about leather care, tack, anything like that, then please feel free to ask away. In the meantime, take care, stay safe, lots and lots of love.